Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking why retail sports cards are getting worse and worse. And there's no good resolution in sight for a pretty long time. And I'll explain everything what I mean by that. But first, thank you guys for joining this video. Can we get 110 likes on this video? That would be awesome if you guys can do that for me. All I'm asking for is 110 likes. Now let's promote the giveaway. I am giving away 2023 Topps Series 1 Hobby Packs to one lucky winner. All you guys have to do is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications, and comment what you're most looking forward to in the 2023 MLB season. I'll pick the winner once I hit 6 thousand subscribers we're only about 100 away from 5,000 but I'm gonna give I'll do the giveaway at 6,000 because obviously we still have a pretty long time until series one comes out so hopefully by the time series one comes out I would have hit um, 6,000 subscribers so hopefully we can get to 6,000 subscribers when a series one does come out and one last thing I will be at the card show at the Southern Park Mall in Boardman Ohio this Saturday there's a whole card show this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at the Southern Park Mall in Boardman, Ohio, and I will be there Saturday afternoon. Uh, so if you're there, don't hesitate to say hi, and I'll talk to you for a bit, and I'll be there as a shopper. I'm only shopping. I'm not selling. I don't have a table or nothing like that. I'm just shopping. I'm going to be someone who's buying, and I will see you there. I'll let you know what I'm wearing. I'll probably have a shirt with my logo on it or something and my black and yellow Air Force One. So if you see that... You'll know it's me. So hope to see you there if you are in the area. And it's free, of course. It's in the mall. It's uh, I had never actually been to this mall, so I actually don't know where it's located. But I've had buddies who go there, and they said the card show is pretty big. It's 50-plus tables, so it should be a pretty fun time. So there is that. So let's get into the topic of today's video. And the title of the video states, Retail Sports Cards Are Getting Worse and Worse. Now, what do I mean by that? We're in an interesting time period for retail sports cards. Sports cards in a whole, for that matter, actually. Uh, you know, this time period in January, typically, for baseball collectors anyways, is typically the worst in terms of retail. Now, of course, there are a lot of hobby-only releases. One that just came out that sold out pretty quickly, Update Sapphire. I think it was like $130 for a box. Fairly cheap. Uh, I'm surprised because the original Sapphire uh, was 250 or something like that. So I'm kind of shocked that they actually made it that cheap. But it sold out relatively quick from what my brother was telling me. And But, you know, we have a lot of good uh, hobby releases coming out. As in Bowman's Best, Gold Label, Allen and Ginter Chrome, uh, Finest, Topps Finest, Gilded Collection. I made a whole video about that the other day. So if you want to check that out, be sure to do so. It's labeled... 2023 Top Series 1 official release date, something like that. I just made it a couple of days ago, so it's relatively new. And, you know, the hobby side, like the hobby box side of things, like for hobby only, is in a fairly good spot right now. But retail right now is in a very, very rough shape. So what I did today was I went to my local Walmart and I met the vendor again. So... I was standing there and I noticed something. You only had one box. And I said to myself, well, that's fairly odd. Typically when restocks happen, considering the shelf was actually bare for once, which I'm shocked, which I honestly think they took the cards back and sent them back to the, to the tops or wherever they came from because there was a lot of cards there, like archives, for example, that weren't moving. So I think he actually took some off the shelf and sent them back. But needless to say, the shelf was empty when I got there and I waited and I was like, okay, if it's one box, it should only be about 15 or so minutes. And it was. I waited. And I noticed there was practically nothing there. And I said, is that it for the week? And he said, this is it for a while because there's nothing new coming out. Well, obviously, we do have some new stuff coming out, but not baseball related. Uh, I believe there is Mosaic Football and NBA Hoops uh, on the horizon, I think, next week or the week after. Uh, I know they're on Target's app this morning when I looked, so they're definitely on the horizon. But 
in terms of other things, like there, there's literally nothing right now. There's literally nothing. So if you're a basketball or football collector, I assume you're in luck for the time being, considering there are two releases for football and basketball. But in terms of baseball, like when I was there, the restock, he had like three blasters of Stadium Club, like six blasters of Topps Chrome, which shocked me because I was like, no one's buying this garbage. They're just trying to sell it. The only reason it's going to sell is because of that buyback promotion that they're still doing. Uh, what else was there? No update was there. Um, some, what's it called? Uh, Bowman Platinum uh, blaster boxes, the smaller boxes. There's like three or four of those. And a couple blaster boxes of Optic Baseball. And that was it. That was seriously it. And I was like, wow, like that's, 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 that's pretty bad. I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, obviously my area is small, but if that was like an area, like, like let's say a downtown Pittsburgh or like a downtown Cleveland or upstate New York or downtown New York city, that would get picked over relatively quickly in my area. I don't know because baseball cards in my area don't sell. I, I've said that multiple times. I'm like legit one of like probably 10 to 15 baseball card collectors in the area. Um, and none of them are scalpers either. Uh, well, there was a couple scalpers, but th those people have seemingly went away for the time being until, huh, wait till Mosaic comes out next week. I guarantee you, I'll see some people lined up at the restock. I guarantee it's coming. Uh, but, you know, um, it, it's, it's, it's interesting because I, we're in a, we're in a very weird time for, for retail sports cards. And nothing's going to change. Nothing will change at all until Series 1 comes out. So Series 1, as you guys watched the video the other day, if you didn't, Series 1 comes out February 15th, uh, five weeks from today, when I'm recording this video. It comes out on a Wednesday. Uh, obviously, this video is going out on Thursday, so less than five weeks now. But we are five weeks away from Series 1. So five Wednesdays from today, you'll, you'll go to your local card store, and you'll see Series 1 there. Unless it gets delayed, which I genuinely think it's going to. I'll be really shocked if it comes out February 15th. But if it does, we'll be in luck because something new and fresh and the new, the newest of new will be out. And the baseball card collecting season for 2023 will begin. So, you know, I'm not opposed to Series 1 coming out in February. I actually want it to because as a content creator, um, I literally have nothing to talk about right now. I'm not going to lie to you. And I like to do a video a day. But January and December, well... Last December was a very weird December because we've never seen anything like that before. But this December, or I should say this January, is just very dry, very bland. I could do Watch Before You Buys for those like Sapphire releases and things like that. But I just really don't think people would be interested in seeing that. Because, you know, a lot of people don't collect that stuff. Only the hobby elite really buy that stuff. So, you know, it's it's just a weird, weird time. And I, when I say it's getting worse and worse, and you know, I say this because, like I said, I want tops to be good. At the end of the day, I want tops to be the best they can be for us because us are the reason why they're in the in the position they are because we buy their product, right? And, you know, it, it's, it's a shame that this has happened because if you see how many releases... I've came out in December, which was literally like 12, right? They could have easily just put a release like Heritage High Number on the back burner and released it in January to keep us content until Series 1 came out. But now, and I've said this plenty of times in other videos, all they had to do was just keep the delayed releases from like, Ju or like July and August, like an Allen Ginter or a Stadium Club or something like that, and just delay it until the new year, so that way we had a couple sets to collect until the until the Series 1 came out. But I will say, though, I will say, I'm thankful that they did come out in December, so that way I ain't got to spend no money on sports cards in January. So I will be thankful for that, because I'm saving money for Series 1. But if they did release in January, obviously I would buy them, but... I'm kind of thankful it came out in December, actually, at the same time, because I could, act I could actually save some money for Series 1 once it comes out in five weeks, which, before you know it, it'll be here. Series 1 will be here. If it comes out that day, that is, because it's always subject to change, but as of now, Series 1 is slated for January or February 15th, 
and you know I will definitely be buying two or so boxes, maybe three. Maybe I get a jumbo and a hobby. I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm going to buy. I have to see the checklist first. I'm not just going to buy it just to buy it. If it's a good checklist, I'll buy a lot of it. If it's a bad checklist, I'll only buy one. So I really just want to complete one set. That's all I really want to do. And maybe buy some miscellaneous packs to open along with it. But I just want to complete a Series 1 set. I'm not going to buy a lot of retail this year. I made a huge mistake buying a lot of retail. As you see, like right here, I'm going to point to it right here, right? There is like, let me see, like 10 or so blasters of Series 1 along with like, I think like six or seven hanger boxes of Series 1. I bought way too much Series 1 last year. I kind of regret it if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, Series 1 is, I'm, gonna be, I'm just going to be straight up, was was pretty bad in, in the in the long term. Uh, Wander Franco's in there and a couple others. And that's literally it. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully Series 1 is good this year. I expect it to be. Um, obviously, we know Adley's in there. Uh, obviously, I would like to think Michael Harris is in there. Uh, because if he's not, I'll be pretty upset with you. Because, uh, you know, he should have been an update last year. He, he very well should have been. Um, but I do expect Michael Harris to be in Series 1 this year. Along with Adley and Corbin Carroll. So there's three good rookies right there that I would say make Series 1 worthwhile. Um, compared to this year's Series 1, you had like Brandon Marsh, uh, let me think, Videl Bruhan, Wander, obviously, you had um, Reed Detmers, like, that's like, that's it. Like, that's a, looking back at it, Series 1 was very weak, very, very weak. Aside from, you know, all the base cards, like Aaron Judge, Tatis, you know, Nolan Arenado, whoever else is in there, those stars, you know, Juan Soto, whatever. Series one in terms of rookies was was pretty weak, and I could guarantee you, unless you're a Tampa Bay Rays fan, everyone in this comment section would agree with me when I say that. Because series one and two, for that matter, series two, if there was no short prints of those rookies in series two, series two would just be right there with series one. It's literally O'Neill, and that's it. I can't remember any other good rookies in series two. I could be drawing a blank, obviously, but uh, Wander, or I should say O'Neill and Wander carried series one, series two. But in a normal year, because last year, let's be honest with you, wasn't normal in terms of collecting tops, uh, you would have had Julio and all of them in Series 2. But I digress because I guess they held them back for update and made update just the mega set that everyone hoped it could be, which it was everything that everyone thought it was, thankfully. But getting back to the retail side of things, you know, nothing's going to release baseball-wise until Series 1, which is five weeks. And you have to think of this. You have to think of this. There's typically like a two to three week delay between hobby and retail, right? So if you think Series 1 is going to hit retail the same week as Series... Well, to be fair, it did hit the last same week last year. But if you remember, if you remember, it went away for like a month after that. We never seen it. I have made a video about it. I remember. Because I was so like upset at the fact that Series 1 retail came out the week of hobby for a limited time and I never saw it again for like a whole month which was interesting because I guess it wasn't meant to be released which was the story at the time but it is what it is now but um I hopefully that doesn't happen again but typically in a normal year series one gets delayed or I, sh I shouldn't say delayed but series one retail comes out about two to three weeks after hobby so you're looking theoretically at seven to eight weeks without any new baseball cards on the retail shelves. So, you know, if you're only per if you're a person that only buys retail, it's hard times. It's it's hard times. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh there's no holiday on the shelf. Holiday has seemingly gone. Uh I loved holiday this year. If, if there was more holiday, I honestly would probably buy it. Holiday, I just absolutely adore that set. It was very, very fun. I enjoyed it every single time I opened a pack on video. I enjoyed it every single time uh but you know in terms of what's out there right now like i said the the vendor stocked chrome today which i was like that, that's completely random i haven't seen chrome stocked in at least a month and a half two months and here we are today putting chrome out on the shelf again i assume what they're doing and this is smart is they are trying to get rid of everything 2022 related that they had left in warehouses to make room for the 2023 Series 1. Because when 2023 Series 1 hits, all those warehouses that are filled with this 2022 stuff, it's going to get discounted if it's not. 
and it's just going to flood the warehouses, which takes up room for Series 1 in the warehouse. So they want to get rid of that 2022 stuff as quickly as they can. I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen clearances yet. I do think we will see clearances. I actually did, actually, now that I think about it, I did see clearances last Saturday, but they weren't on they weren't on baseball products. It was like WWE Prism. There was a, a, those stickers, like new low price on those WWE Prism packs um, at a Walmart I was at out of town. So there are clearances out there. You just got to find them. Uh, but I don't know exactly what is being clearance is the question. I think it varies per store, obviously. But to wrap up this video, to put a bow on it and tie it all together, nothing's going to change until Series 1 comes out, which is the whole point of this video. And how Tops could have fixed this? Well, delayed some of those sets that you saw in December and released them in January. Because guess what? It wouldn't be as boring right now. It wouldn't be as nearly as boring as it is right now. I go to a Walmart, I go to a Target, I say, well, nothing here for me, and I walk away because there's just nothing. I mean, I'm sure people will buy it up, I'm sure, because there's people out there who aren't like me who makes YouTube content and things like that and, you know, buy a blaster box here and there just to, you know, fulfill their needs of opening blaster boxes or baseball cards, right? I'm sure people will buy it, but for us... The hardcore collectors out there who are on top of every single set and, you know, make sure we're there every single restock, make sure we get what we want and things like that. Like, you know, we're, we're tired of seeing this stuff. We're tired of seeing it. I don't see Bowman Chrome no more. I don't see Bowman Platinum, the Mega Box format. Those are completely gone. Those sold out. I don't see Holiday no more. Those would be the sets I'd be buying if I saw them. Uh, but right now, like, there's nothing. And honestly, I'm not upset about it that much. Because I get to save money now for Series 1 that comes out in five weeks, hopefully. And then a couple weeks later, Heritage. And then a couple weeks later, Opening Day. So when 2023 Series 1 comes out, there's going to be a lot of other stuff that comes out pretty rapidly, very quickly after Series 1 comes out. So, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that in a couple weeks. Because believe it or not, before you know it, we'll see a pack design for Series 1 probably within the next two weeks. I would like to think. And then we're going to see the checklist for Series 1. And then right before you know it, I'll be doing a watch before you buy and top 5 most valuable for 2023 top Series 1, which will be pretty exciting because I'm tired of this lull period. Right now, we're in a lull period, a, a period of time for baseball cards collectors in particular. Now, football and basketball, complete different story. I'm not even talking about that. But for us baseball card collectors right now, it's a lull period. Unless you buy hobby only, which, I mean, there's a couple good sets coming out, I think, from what people have told me of that uh, in that video I made. There's nothing in terms of retail. Retail is just retail right now at the moment. I don't I don't see, I mean, like I said, people will buy it just to buy it, but I'm not. I want to save my money. I'm being smart with my money, and I want the new stuff. I don't want the old stuff. If I wanted the old stuff, I would have bought it when the old stuff came out and was new, which I did, so I don't want to buy any more of it. So, you know, unless it's update, I would probably buy some more update if I seen update, but I have not seen update at all. Getting to update, we're going to open some packs here of update. We're getting down to the very end of this box, thankfully. About to, how many packs do we have left? So we have two, four, six packs left, including a silver pack. So we have seven packs left of this stuff until we finally say goodbye to update this year. We finally are going to say goodbye. Well, I mean, I could definitely open some of the retail stuff I have of update, but... Um, I want to keep it sealed for the time being just to see what actually happens to the market. Uh, I think I think, I think 2022 Tops Update is going to be pretty valuable. I'm not going to lie to you. I I really do think it's going to be pretty valuable uh, in the long run with all the rookies and everything like that in there. But we'll see. We will have to just wait and see. Oh, I thought that was Julio. Hey, but it's Ken, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., so I really can't complain about that. One of my favorite players of all time. And there is Julio. So, speaking of the devil, there's Julio. And I will be going in a top loader after this video is over. So that pack, I will give a 7 out of 10. I'm going to start doing pack ratings at the, at the end of each pack. Just, oh, there goes my cards. I should have not. That's the problem with having these cards up here, by the way. I always knock them over. It's, it's a daily occurrence. It literally is a daily occurrence. Put that back up. Let's get into pack number two after I put these cards up here. Okay, pack number two. I'll give that pack a 7 out of 10 because we didn't get more than one good rookie. 
I'm gonna start doing pack ratings at the end of each pack, like I just said, because give me something to give me something to, to judge, I guess. So here we go. Alec Thomas leads us off. And not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of bored of seeing the 20. There, say a Suzuki. I'm kind of bored of seeing the 2023 or 2022 design. There's George Kirby, which is a Pirates radar list because Reynolds could be going there and we could be getting him in return. What is this? Oh. Elliot Ramos. All right, Giants fans. I'm going to need you to tell me about this guy. Is this guy top loader worthy? I'm going to need you guys to uh, let me know in the comment section. I saw a video one time saying he was a good one to collect. That's why I'm asking that. I'm not a Giants fan. I don't live on the West Coast. So I I genuinely don't know. So I'm going to give that pack. I'll give it an 8 because I think people like to collect this guy. So I might put this guy on a top loader. But let me know who this guy is. I think, you know, he's a position player. So obviously he could be worth something. He's not a pitcher or anything like that. So obviously he could be good. I don't know. So guys, to wrap up this video... Let me know what you think about the situation of baseball cards, of retail sports cards. I'm saying baseball because obviously this video does not apply to football or basketball as there's hoops and mosaic coming out within the next two weeks at retail. So that's why I said that. So let me know what you think about baseball cards in retail right now. Are you excited for Series 1? And don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll see you guys in the next video.